Actually, the next tool that we have here is called walk and fly. That if you choose, for example, fly, you can fly um, around the project of you, which is a little interesting. Like this. You can see that. Let me just zoom out a little. And as you can see, the first item is walking, that you can walk through the project um, easily. I can move it to upside down, left and right. I can just zoom it by mouse cursor. I can just change the mood. Like this, actually, I can just work by mouse. Uh, you know, you can do it by mouse, actually. You cannot do it by pan. Uh, the zoom will happen by mouse cursor. Otherwise, you go on pan item and just click it, then you can move it, and again, you can go back to the last item. And then you can just walk through the project. Actually, when you're walking through the space, by mouse wheel, you can uh, just move the project to down and upside. And this, uh, it means as if you are just moving your head to check all of the side of the projects project yes like this I can move through the space and then you can just orbit here move it around like this and then I can enter this place like this and also you can go up the stairs if you want to do it you should just from here activate the gravity item so let me go back and choose third person and let me just set this character here and it will activate a collision and gravity and actually we'll talk about them later as you can see the character is going upstairs I go more forward and then again move it around just I will do it a couple of times until I just stay in the right place they can move around the building like this so now let me inactivate the third person and I will go a little more forward to check down from this void and this is the space that we create for the software. Actually, this was this was about walking, and now the next one is fly. By fly, by the option of flying, you can just fly through the building and uh, go everywhere that you like. You have to be careful that by orbiting this angle, actually, we have an option here. Let me just pin it. Uh, we have uh, an item here in the name of linear speed. A well, linear speed that is actually meter per second that it will define the speed of the person who's going to walk through the building uh, just fast or slow. And as you can see, if I choose different numbers for that, you can just see the uh, speed of walking through the building. That actually is related to the project that you're working, which is if, uh, if your project is really big and you want to walk through it fast, you can just give a bigger number to that and then just it is vice versa you can choose a smaller one but by default I think 2 is okay and the next item here is angular speed it is the speed of the rotation that you want to have around your project and building that it is now on 45 and uh, for example if I choose 1 for that and just choose walk here and then I want to rotate it will be really slow or even it is for fly you can see it is really slow and not fast. Now imagine I will choose number of 60 for that now and then if I choose fly as you can see it will be really faster. So maybe the controlling of that is a little hard. Let's say it depends on the need that you have in your project you can choose a proper number for it whatever you like. Uh, here for example, I will type 15 
And as you can see, I can control the moving better. And as you can see, it is nicer. Like this. And again, I will choose walking option and the, to, to just uh, be able to walk through the project. These were the nice tools and also necessary ones that I explained to you. The next item is realism that we will talk about that actually in the next clip.